Welcome to this afternoon's webinar and um, we're looking at cross-curricular learning for National Space Day. Now this was something always the time of the year I get really excited um, and it was sort of a day that I used to love spending um, looking at experiments and exploring certain things with my students. Um, so what I'd like to do really is to pass on some of that information to you guys and obviously um, to share the tools and resources that Education City has to offer that can support you in those areas. So there is no agenda today. I'm just going to take you through a couple of the things that spring to mind when I think of National Space Day and what can it help you out. One thing I will say, though, is obviously the account I'm using, the school that you will see is a made up school. So please don't worry about any names that you will see, whether student or staff, they are all made up. And it is also an English school, um, but I will point out any differences if you're joining me from outside of England um, today. Finally, any questions that you have for us, I really do love to hear from you. You will see that there is a Q&A button on your taskbar. You can click onto that um, and that will enable you to type a question in that will ping up on my screen so I can answer that live for you. There is the option to ask a question anonymously using that as well, um, which are quite handy. Okay, I think that is all of that sorted, let's head into educationcity.com where we can begin. And here we are logged in. Now, if you're following along at home, your page might look like this. Don't worry, this is the classic view. It still does the same thing as what um, as the new view does. So if I click that or the new view, I just prefer this view. I think it's got a better flow to it. It's got better usage. Um, and it's got a couple of uh, additional features in there as well. So this is the page I'm going to be using today. And we're going to start off in the subjects area. Here we are heading into subjects. And obviously science is the first port of call into Upper Key Stage 2. And if you've been to webinars previously or if you've attended any of my training sessions or the CPD webinars that we offer, you'll notice I love a think it. They are so, so good for getting their brain warmed up and getting children excited about a subject area. Also really good for that investigation and inquiry within science. And you can see we've got the unit down here, Earth and Space, and the think it's that are available. So we can select one of those. You can see any objectives. Obviously, that will differ if you're outside of England. And if you don't follow the national curriculum, that might be for the curriculum for excellence, for example. But you do have any objectives just there that this particular tool meets. And the bit above there gives you a bit of an insight as to what this tool does. So this specific one is all about the Earth's rotation um, and how the sun appears to move across the sky. Why does that happen? And using the correct vocabulary to explain that. And we can go through and we can have a look at a couple of looks of those. This one's a really good one. The moon phases just there. And obviously, if we want to pop any of these into a folder, we've got the add to a my city just there as well. Now, this one is a favourite of mine. Um, this one is really, really good in um, understanding sort of ratio proportion and obviously understanding what rotates around what. So we can see here, um, Manu has made a model of the Earth, the Sun and Moon. It doesn't look quite right. What can he do to fix it? And hopefully if you've been looking at maybe sort of space around now or if you're introducing children to this point, they will pick up on the fact that the sun is obviously quite a bit bigger than the Earth. And if we head into the answer, we can see this is what Manu has done. He's got that question that he's posing. What else could we do to add to the solar system? model where we could maybe add a couple more planets off this. Now this is actually a really good task to do with your students so they can draw around maybe a dinner plate um, for the sun, draw around um, a cup or something for the earth or whatever size they need to for their planet and then you've obviously got the little uh, two pence piece for the moons there or one pence pieces whatever you need to use and obviously if you can use a compass even better. 
but you've got a couple of push bins in the middle there and these make so so good for that really visual kinesthetic rem representation of the earth rotating around the sun and the moon rotating around the earth and obviously if you've got all the planets on there even better you've got the order of them you know how they rotate number of moons and everything but you could even do this as like a mini project again if you've seen my previous webinars you will know i love a good project really do love a good project i think it's a great way for children to express themselves and um, presenting in a format that they wish so we could even use this get the children to choose a planet of their choice maybe even making this distance here in proportion to the actual distance between the sun and their planet, looking at ratio there as well. And again, this is what leads me into this cross-curricular thinking, having something practical, something physical they can use, and then leading into maths, looking at ratio and proportion, maybe even creating a leaflet or a project for some sort based upon their planet. So definitely adding this one into the folder of work, and then we can always have a look at what activities and learn screens are available. Or we can head up into the search content over there and we can search this way. Now, if I type in, for example, planets, we might come across some things and we can filter down there into the subject area because you've got science just there and we can have a look at those tools. But this is a great way of also looking for those cross-curricular resources. So we've already mentioned ratio and proportion. We can type in ratio just there and we've always already got loads of resources we can use for ratio and proportion. A good learn screen would be quite good actually introducing that area. And as always, you've got a bit of a summary as to what it does there. Info button will tell you any curriculum objectives and you've got that add to add into a My City. Excellent. Um, you can also look at maybe seasons, looking at the different seasons and how seasons are made via the movement of the earth around the sun and the moon around the earth for days and nights, etc. Um, I just love it. I think it's such a great topic to get students excited about space. Um, I used to, um, whenever I had this topic, whenever National Space Day came in, we head into the hall, you'd have that one child in the middle of the room with a yellow ball on their head representing the sun and then different children with different coloured um, footballs on their heads representing the different planets working their way around the sun and just having that real kind of active learning children love it and it was it's such good memories for myself as a teacher and um, that's the sort of thing that springs to mind from my years of teaching um but obviously you can approach this in whatever way you wish to as i mentioned you've got the seasons here this is a great tool introducing um sort of seasons and obviously the earth rotation to the younger students we can spin these like so and you've got autumn matching the autumn image to the um the season just there and we can even look at the months that these seasons um appear in for the younger students and we can work our way through the images as well matching up different ones just there um to the month we looked at as well these are really really good and again really visual for your visual learners we do also have, as I mentioned earlier, if you're going into a project, have a look at some of the tools for creating a leaflet, for example. Um, this one's a really, really useful tool looking at sort of the qualities of leaflets. And you'll even find a couple of um, reading comprehensions there as well. And again, all of these can be added into a folder just there. Really, really useful. And again, it wouldn't be me if I told you about a couple of favourites. Have a look at the Stamina for Writing series. Really, really invaluable series. It is a year two um, sort of mapped tool, or I think it's um, 
early or first if you're in Scotland, have a look for it. Even though it's that year group, it doesn't stop you from using it in other year groups. I've used this in year four before, and it's so, so useful. It literally goes through every single stage of writing this particular genre of writing. So you've got your fairy tales, you've got your recount texts, a fable, a poem just there, newspaper report and even a narrative about the Wright brothers and if say your students are writing a narrative about Saturn we can use this and um, because it will describe each stage they need to do in order to create that project or that piece of work do have a look at those these are so so useful and because they're learn screens they can be watched over and over again paused rewound flip to the next slide they're so so good really really are those are just a couple of the features that we have available and obviously all of these tools as i've been mentioning the whole way through can go into a folder of work so i've got my national space day folder and i've got that original think it we looked at creating those sort of um uh, sun planet and moons kind of systems with those split pins and a couple of more pieces in there looking at ratios leaflets and even seasons at the bottom there as well and then i'd go through allocate this to my students and then i could always see who's been doing what there but obviously project work i like to leave it quite open and see what students come up with do have a look at those features and you can find different features throughout Education City. I obviously only looked at a think it um, in science. Um, have a look for the other tool types we have, the activities, the learn screens, have a look for all of those. And don't forget at the bottom here, we have our teacher resource pack. So, so useful. It is filled with things that you can use for science investigation and inquiry. Um, you've got there, you've got a compare and contrast grid. So if you're looking at the differences between the planets, you could use that if you wanted to. We've got our conversions. If you're looking at ratio and conversions, you can use those. There's so many tools that you can use in here and so many ways that you can use them as well. Even down to, if I head down a little bit further, these blank grids. If we have a look at um, the two page view here, you'll be able to see we've got a range of grids um, there that you can use. So if you're looking at the distance from the sun for the different planets, you could draw a graph or, um, or a bar chart if you wanted to. You could look at the number of moons that they have, whatever it is. We've got the, um, the resources on here to help you, to help you save some time in your planning as well have a look at all of those tools just there. So that is pretty much everything from me today. Um, I do get a bit excited when it comes to National Space Day. I just think it's an exciting um, topic and it does get children sort of understanding more about the environment they live in as well. Just having a look in there to see if we've got any questions being typed in. Don't worry if you can't think of any right now because you can always get in touch with us at customer service at educationcity.com. Send us any questions or any feedback that you might have. Um, you can get in touch that way. And earlier on, I also mentioned our free CPD accredited webinars. Um, you'll find those on the website at www.educationcity.com. Head into the webinar section. You'll find recordings of previous webinars, including this one um, and upcoming ones. The CPD, CPD accredited one is free to register for free to attend and it will provide you with CPD accredited certificate and hours afterwards. Again, if you want a little bit more information, you can always drop me an email. I hope to see you all at future webinars, um, but until then, take care and stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>